Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker and welcome to a new Let's Play for Sigma Theory. That's right folks, we are back in the espionage game because last time, well, we, 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 uh, we, we kind of brought the world into chaos. We kind of brought the world down around us. We did not succeed at our stated task, but we did learn some lessons. Unfortunately, we live in a world with endless possibilities and universes and we can try again. So I'm going to try and take some of these lessons that I learned last time and uh, hopefully do a little bit better. Um, I do feel like getting that reroll on that character in the first uh, first move that I did, losing my selected character to get someone else, who was pretty good, but threw me off a bit. Threw me off. Other things to note. Oh man. If it... What lessons did I learn? <laughs> well, one thing, siding with the terrorists was bad. It didn't... I mean, siding against the terrorists was really bad. But uh, siding with them also is bad. So I'm really not sure. But it didn't, didn't learn anything. Don't don't screw them. It's one thing. Because they, they really hurt me. At the end of that game, I was down to one agent. Nothing I could do. And uh, hopefully we can have a better run at uh, Sigma Theory here. So, alright, enough... Enough rambling. I'm gonna get this game started. I gotta say, it is cold in here. I don't know if you guys live in a cold place. I live in Hamburg, Germany. We're gonna be Manda Maker again, just so you know. Um, I live in Hamburg, Germany, which is where we were last time. But we're, we're not gonna do that again. Um, and it's cold here. It is very cold. So, we're gonna go somewhere warmer? We could do China. Russia is not warmer. The United States can be. Maybe I will play. You know what? Let's give the United States a try. I am an American citizen, after all. And I'm um, finding it easier to persuade scientists to work for them. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and jump in. If you're not familiar with this game, by the way, um, you should check out my other videos uh, because they are a bit more in-depth. Um, on the introduction and the explanation, but I'll give a brief touch on it, right? We are trying to steal scientists, bring them to our side, manipulate them uh, so that they will work for us to develop these really incredible, powerful technologies. We do this through coercion, bribery, um, abduction, various means, hacking, all kinds of things. We are in competition with all these other countries that are here. And... Um, yeah, we are going to give this another shot. I will be married to uh, my wife. Last time I did play uh, with the Turkish wife, as I do in real life. Um, but uh, this time, this time, why don't we go, I can't add, mm, ooh, I like this. A little antagonism on the international scale there. Yelena, <laughs> silver fox, see what those furs? My god. White fox is right there. Yeah, we'll go with Yelena Ivanovna Kaperskaya. Why not? And we're going to dive in now. Right, we are the United States. We get this nice little bonus. A little bit easier to persuade people to come and join us. Sounds great. First step of the game. The story. Hello, Demaker. I am Susan Harris, and I ordered your recruitment. I'll be your superior for the next few months. You'll be directly accountable to me. Man is a specialist in both field operations and delicate diplomatic negotiations. Your place is at the head of counter-espionage, but the American government has an even more important mission for you. Several days ago, the scientific community developed the Sigma Theory, a scientific method capable of producing rapid advances with the potential to throw the world into chaos. We, we know that game. Within weeks, we'll see the emergence of new weapons with unimaginable destructive power, as well as tools that can influence the economy, society, energy, transport, and even the human mind. Our civilization will change beyond recognition. American leaders want to monopolize Sigma technologies. The country that controls Sigma will control the world. Your mission? Discover these Sigma technologies with the best scientists at your side. Do what you must to gather a team of agents and use persuasion, diplomacy, and force to acquire the few scattered scientists able to work on these technologies. We currently have two in our own labs. We've given you a surveillance drone and a combat drone to assist in your field missions. You also have access to diplomatic support to conduct negotiations with the leaders of rival nations. I'm transferring you to our tactical operations so you can proceed with recruiting your team. 
So, first part of the game is we actually have to get these people to join us. So last time, I picked my man, nope, I picked Aphrodite, Super Seducer, and Master of Disguise. No high profile, so these are these seem to always kind of go against that, right? High profile needs to be careful when moving between countries, but this one means she can travel freely. So, a bit, bit awkward. We also used Gamera here, um, because he's a hacker. I am inclined to do that again. However, I'm also interested in mystery here. She's a little bit slower, but better at things. And a pacifist, so she can't really fight for us. Um, I did enjoy having a fighter. Ooh, am I crazy? Or are there more people unlocked here? Were they unlocked because I met them in the game? Ooh. I think they were. I think they did. Fortune here, I believe we also had her. Um, let's see, Tsuba is a bloodthirsty, badass guy. He knows Japan and he can be a, he's in a restaurant there. Killer is not a conversationalist. It's not a, it's not a pun, apparently. Rider, I'm quite interested in. He's a wheelman. He has ghost as well. Smuggler. Honest? Yeah, okay. He's a loner. Seems like he might be somebody useful to help us extract. Yeah, yeah, these people are all new. The exclamation point is uh, an obvious choice there. Anstrom as well. Firearms, Enigma, and Bill. Running away is not an option. <laughs> okay. I'm let's let's try and pick up this this ghost. He's honest. Not so great at bribery. But a wheelman. He can be our well, I want somebody who's a bit smart to be our wheelman. Like you. You're a patriot, so you cannot uh be quicker than useful. Oh, actually, you're good at that stuff. And I, I think I want, you know what? Elite, yeah, okay, we'll take the one of each. Good with knives, good in Russia, but also really good at spy catching, which was a big problem for me, I realized, at the, the end of the last game. So, quite good, good stats as well. She is elite, which means we'll have to pick her and only um, her out of the elite. So let's go for it. So how do you do that? You have to actually convince them. So we will need to actually read their bio. How terrible. Eugenia is a shining example, the very best that Sovietism can produce a century too late. The brilliant and expansive educational background, she has a doctorate in thermodynamics and her work serves as the basis for modern research. She is a horse riding and archery champion and an Olympic level fencing master. Nostalgic for Sovietism, she is a loyal, fanatical agent, cunning and ready to sacrifice anything to accomplish her goals. You can only hope that they are the same as yours. We'll try and recruit her. Now we have to kind of guess out of these things which will convince her. So she's, she's all about that Sovietism, right? She's super patriotic. I know you really are. Work with me and I'll give you the means to grow your organization. That doesn't sound right. I need your intelligence to build a just equal world where the lives of men aren't dominated by money. Potentially, I mean, Sovietism isn't exactly uh, anti-capitalism. Socialism, maybe. But uh, Sovietism itself, not quite the same. There'll be constant field operations. She does like field operations, right? I'm gonna go that she doesn't like money. And, oh, and she doesn't. Okay, we can correlate that Sovietism with uh, real socialism or communism. Uh, so we have one. We can now uh, we can pick four. I'm pretty inclined to pick up Gamera again. I like having the the hacker there. It seems awesome to me. So I'm gonna grab you again. And because I've already solved your riddle, you're an automatic recruit. Okay, cool. Now we need a, uh, I mean, she's a pretty good field agent. I would like somebody who's maybe good. Heck yeah, well, we can't do that. Somebody, actually, why are there exclamation points here? Because all of you guys have them, even though you're not new. Maybe you're those who I have not used yet. Indeed you are. We've got Leek here. Another hacker? Rats. She's wanted to be arrested in a lot of places. Oh, it's it's Snowden. He's he's Snowden. <laughs> okay. Alright. Um, Kumar here. Kind of a badass, you're uh, but you're elite, so you're out. I do want a tough guy, right? You know, black belt, effective unarmed combat. A negotiator, good at bribing. I'd like somebody who's, you know what? 
I want Aphrodite again, because she left me immediately last time, and I'm still interested in this seducing thing. So we'll recruit you. So now we've got somebody to stay at home, somebody to seduce, somebody who can uh, defend us, as well as probably pretty good in the field herself. I would like maybe a very strong field agent. Ryder, you're a real man. And a ghost. So we'll never be detected. I do want somebody who I can use to, to force people out. Another hacker. I don't remember. I thought there was only one hacker last time, so I must have some new people here. Firearms expert. Yeah, you're reckless, huh? Oh, you're, but you're elite. Venom. Another seducer. I need that. Heal. Abort them. He'll survive. Difficult to break under interrogation. I wouldn't mind somebody who's who's quite strong. I mean, Maestro, I, I did actually like him. Maybe I go for him again? I don't I don't want to do too many of the same people though. Another real real woman. But uh, Merta and Jinx. That you are assigned to protect. Unexpected ends, do they? So if I can get you in a car, you're going to be quite good. You also know quite a few places pretty well. <sighs> Do we go for that? Right? I got, even though I played, I've played, i only played once, so I don't feel like I've got the, the strongest um, picture of what all, all that we really need. No, you're elite. We don't want leak. Another hacker? Could be interesting. But I, I do, I feel like I just want a wheelman. Is there another extraction uh, expert? You're an exfiltration, but you're elite. You're also elite. I mean, you guys are all real fun. I mean, I, I want to try and not have to fight, but I also don't realize that I may just have to do that anyways. I did end up being fighting, fighting my way out of many situations. Um... Okay. Uh, you're pretty damn smart. Ryder, you're... Mm, no, who's the, the jinx? Not you. Gypsy. She can be my field agent? The wheelman? I don't know how to use multiple agents in, in a extraction. Exfiltration, sorry. So I'm not sure if she's going to be quite good enough as the field agent. Maybe fortune? I want them to have some kind of brains. And she's very, very middle of the road there. And you... Probably not a choice there. Exfiltration expert. But no, because you're elite. I kind of almost regret uh, taking Red Sword here. No, she, uh, she's a spy hunter. And also in, into the exfiltration. So, okay. Let's go for Ryder here. I mean, we, we already have the kind of new retro wave, synth wave music going on in, in a lot of the game, and he does kind of fit into that. So I'm going to try. Biker Ariko is a local gang chief in Osaka, where the community revolves around powerful racing bikes, initially focused on small illegal contests and races, battles, and backward neighborhoods. The Osaka Dragons gang have recently carried out merciless attacks on the mafia and corruption. For many, they are vigilantes on the way to becoming a political power. The reason for this shift was the death of their leader at the hands of Yamaguchi Gumi, he has been secretly replaced by his sister, who always wears a motorbike helmet with an opaque visor and has an unrelenting penchant for violence and justice. Violence and justice. No arrest, Ron, so it's not that. Writing straight into hell and it's very well paid. Uh, no, we want to grow her organization, right? She has an organization, for sure. The best agent there is. We've got our people. Recruiter of the month. Great. There's the database. Let's go for it. Okay, you are once again going to tell me all about this stuff. You want me to, to move my agent? I'm just, yeah, you can just fast travel and then I can ignore that. So here we are, here is the game. As I said, if you want to like a little bit more in depth explanation, at least on the surface level for an introduction, uh, my other videos are gonna be better for that. Um, for this, I'm going to be a little bit faster, but still, of course, I will have to explain things. So we've got our agents here. We need to go and send them out to different countries or stay at home and do missions um, from there. 
we can go ahead and take a look at our science. So the point of the game is to, uh, I think, when we research 15, kind of freaking me out how this thing moves around. When you research 15 technologies, not us, but when, when the world researches 15 technologies, um, I think the game ends, and whoever has the most wins. Also, if this counter <laughs> goes to here, the game ends and, and you lose. Uh, everybody, everybody loses. This is, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm familiar with that ending. Our scientists here um, are going to work on these technologies, and we've got these few different fields with different bonuses, uh, depending on what you choose. So, for instance, we start off with Maud Geller here. She is flighty. Drops her guard quickly with an attractive person. She's a geek. And my Sandra's wary of men. But she graduated in neuroscience, so she has a bonus because of her specialty to neuroscience. My man here. Eh. There's all this weird bug where like if you if you come off something in, in the wrong way, when it has the, the tooltip open, the tooltip gets stuck. Cause me a slight problem. Just required reloading before, but nonetheless. And we've got here Gerald Hawking. You are a geek, you're corruptible and corruptible and without ties. Goes bisexual, you can be seduced by everyone. Gotta keep my eye on this guy. And he's an astrophysics. Now, last time I went into this first, which uh, is different. Holy crap. Are they random? No. Is this not different? Okay, what this what this gave you is the ability I feel like that's different. I don't know, Mentalis. Um, yeah, there's that tooltip issue. What I'd like to do, probably, is have my people focus on something. Because being the first to get it gives, um, gives a, a big bonus, I believe. It might be worth it. And what this does, I don't actually know. <laughs> Somebody got it last time, but I don't fully know what this actually translates into. I don't think I ever got it myself. And there's also the question, right? Immediate, immediate decision. Do we have our people work on two different things? We'll have uh, we'll be 50% 50 50 faster than otherwise because she would be getting a bonus, so she would add only one to this, whereas otherwise she won't be adding two to this. But also at the same time, getting something first is maybe a little bit better, which I'm inclined to do. Let's try it. We're going to go for astrophysics, Helios, with the perfection of hypertensile materials and laser energy transmissions. The Helios orbital solar stations can fulfill the Earth's energy needs for centuries to come. Excellent. Uh, no. Not where I wanted to go. Back to the map. So, we've now picked our research and now we need to figure out what to do. So, we can... I mean, the, the goal of the game is without pissing everybody off too much. Last time I accidentally ended up at war with somebody, which I wasn't 100% sure on the negative effects of that, but I think it raises the Doomsday Clock. But beyond that, I'm not entirely sure, besides obviously just having terrible relations and it being sort of impossible to do operations in that country. So we, we need to pick off right away. Who are we going to start messing with right now? You want to kind of target the leaders, but right now you can't. I think everyone is basically even. So it's tough to say who we're going to mess with. I think I'm going to mess with the country that I live in. We're going to go. And probably screw with Germany. So what we're gonna do, I've got a hacker in here somewhere. It's not you, Mr. Ryder. It's not you, Gamera. We can say, Gamera, please hack. Um, oh, you're giving me a tutorial. I don't want your tutorial. Please hack in Germany. They have pretty good security there. Um, everyone has the same security. Please hack in Germany. We can see two numbers there as well. Alert in the red and how much they like us in the blue. If the blue goes to zero, um, we are going to have a very difficult time not being at war with them. <laughs> we, we will be at war with them. If the alertness, what that kind of dictates is how easy it is to do operations and exfiltrations as well. So getting that low is useful in a place where you're going to mess with a lot of people. So why don't we go ahead and try and hack here? And you can do a bunch of different things. You can just straight up steal science. You can try and lower their alert level. Install ransomware can give you leverage on their diplomats, which is another thing. 
We can delete an arrest warrant, we can locate scientists, or we can hack a drone. We are going to try and locate scientists. It's going to take him two days to do that. And next up, so yeah, you're busy. We've got one field agent. She's also our anti-spy um, person, but we're not going to use her for that. We're going to send her out to here. Um, we are going to fast travel, I think, because we don't care so much if she's got a gun. Um, my other guy, you're not particularly great at anything except exfiltration, right? I think we will just send you here as well. We are going to fast travel you. And we'll infiltrate you. And then we've got one more here, and she's our seducer. Seductress, really. And we're going to send you, I think... Wait, what? You've got, you've got recon somewhere? Recon in Japan and the US. We could send you all the way over to Japan, and maybe you can identify us uh, some scientists. Russia scared me last time. It's so far away, actually. Why don't we just go... Oh no, you're just slow going. Ah, oh, because your whole high profile takes longer for you to go places. Go on over to Japan. And you can just fast travel. She said this last time and then she just bailed on me. I wonder if this is always going to happen. I'll be unavailable until tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's... She just takes longer to do things? No, you will always just say that. And we can also send our surveillance drone. Now, surveillance drone, I think it helps you do missions. Um, it definitely helps in exfiltration, as does the combat drone. Right? I think we're going to send it over here as well, just to get it close. You can do other things with it. We're going to send everything to Germany. And that's it. That's our first turn. Everything is done. And we can go ahead and end our turn. She's annoying because she's just hanging around making money and stuff, or whatever that means. A bit annoying. We are 13% towards researching. She has arrived in Berlin. And there is Yelena. Oh, it's my wife. Accept my congratulations. Thank you, Yelena. Your love and support gets me through the missions. Yes? I'm touched, man. Oh. Don't go out of your way. We both know all about the dangerous game of politics. We're going to need to help each other. If I can count on you, you can count on me. The romantic relationship has improved. She divorced me last time. Because apparently she thought I was sleeping around with all the spies. Which I may or may not have been. That's on a need-to-know basis. So, these guys are still traveling. She's still traveling. I'm traveling very slowly. But she is here. And now we can try and do things. And we can do a couple of things. We can try and locate scientists. We can try and do some requon. Requon? Recon. Agent will spend time doing recon. This will increase the chance of success in subsequent missions while in this city. And I think we're going to possibly try and do that. Now, conversely, we can also try and mess and learn about Otto von Lersner here. Try and get him over to our side. Russia is again in the lead. They were in the lead last time, too. They, they apparently are pretty, pretty tough. Now, we might be using her to try and uh, bribe or coerce or any of these things. So I think we will have you do recon. You're quite strong. It's going to take three days. Thank you. She's in transit. You're in transit. Our drones are all in transit. That's it for the turn. Time carries on. We're right in Tokyo. I've cracked the German security system. I've got the all the information available on their scientists. Johannes von Erivnov and Dorothea Winkler. I also have made no progress, apparently. Oh, still at 13%. And everyone has arrived where they need to be. Well, you said you arrived in Berlin, but you're already there. She's arrived here. What we can do... I mean, Japan doesn't really like us that much. And you're done. Why don't you... Let me know... No, don't go there. I'm gonna, I want you to hack... I want you to hack Russia. And I want you to try and locate their scientists, please. Could piss them off. We don't want that to happen. You perhaps try and locate some scientists. You prefer men, so that's not going to be that useful to me. 
She can locate scientists using intelligence, which she's okay at. Maybe give us an idea of who's here. I'm willing to do that. It'll take two turns, that's fine. We may end up wanting to move her back here as well. We should be aware of that. We can take a look, right? We've now revealed their scientists through hacking. You like women, you're universal, so you can do everything. You have no ties, you're a geek, and you're chauvinistic. Like discussing their home country. And as you can see, we can try and do all different things. Bribe, abduct, seduce, convert. Different people are weak against different things. And we have to kind of try and figure out the best way to go and steal people. You are a misandrous and a geek. And you've graduated in health. So, I mean, the obvious choice, we're going to want to try and take this universal guy. How do we do that? Well, we can, of course, try and seduce him. You enjoy discussing cybersecurity and their home country. We could try and convert them. You don't, uh, you don't have any ties, which is interesting. Interesting indeed. We could try and bribe him. We can try and convert him. But for now, I mean, we're just going to do our recon there. Wait for our drones to arrive. Wait for my driver to get there and let her just do her thing. You're going to start hacking Russia. Seems great to me. Arrived in Berlin. We did gain more research. Now, you don't apparently always get it, right? It's a variable situation. Um, okay, no, you told me to... That's, that's a bit weird. Oh, it shows older dates. I'm a bit silly there. Yeah. Well, you've arrived in Berlin. You're awaiting orders. Yelena, you need me. We're negotiating an energy agreement with Russia, and we would like to have PR Hawking with us. Their expertise will support arguments, help us obtain the best possible agreement. We would need them with us the next week. Okay, but I'm counting on your support. The game of politics. So they're going to take... My romantic relationship has weakened. Oh, and he's refusing to work. So one of my scientists is now going to go and do other things. Oh, crap! The Caliphate of the Levant! We want to establish a fair, balanced Islamic Republic in the country's ravaged for oil by the West. We'd like your help. If you help us, we're generous. But if you betray us, we'll kill one of your scientists. You want me to put ransomware on the British servers and send us the key. So you guys are ISIS, basically. And you want me to mess with Britain. Now, siding with them, they, they can do things. I think we can find them here. Armed groups. We now know of these guys. They're a direct threat. And they can do things for us as we become friendly with them. However, becoming friendly with them also makes the Doomsday Clock uh, do bad things. I'm still inclined to do it. I've got my hacker. I can probably quite easily go ahead and mess with these guys. So I may do that. While you're here, you're going to be my driver, right? You're going you're gonna to try and get help me get people out. Since you got a time to just kind of wait, we're going to have you investigate. You're going to use your... Your strength, that's fine. Perhaps we learn something about this guy that will uh, enable us to interact with him more carefully. All right, you can get things from the different countries if they like you a lot in particular. So, you know, you can play that game, which I'm not playing at all right now because I'm basically just going after scientists. I don't know if that's the, the right call there. Um, also to note is that this is our relations. It goes to zero, it ends. If it uh, goes higher, they will give you special rewards. So it's actually quite nice to uh, have this up high. Since we're placing your agents, yeah. So maybe, I mean, you can lose your agents. I, I have, I, it's, it really hurts. And if you do, maybe they give you good things. They give you more agents. I don't actually know the direct benefits, but uh, I believe them. So, red sword here, you're in the area profile, you're spy hunter, knife fighter, patriot. You work quite well in Russia, which is where you're going to go to next. But what we're going to try and do, I think we're going to try and bribe this guy. I mean, he's a geek. He's chauvinistic. He has no ties. We could try to convert him. Convert the scientist ideologically to work for your country using intelligence, which is pretty smart. Production is not really our thing. I don't know. Let's try and convert him. Is she doing it? No. Is 
apparently it's not an option. Oh, because you're doing recon still. Silly me. You, um, you're on a mission for the day. I've already given you guys missions. Right, I think what we are going to do is we're going to do some, some ransomware over here. And you know, good old America getting in with the Islamic State um, seems, seems, uh, what could go wrong? We'll go ahead and end our turn. Some people are going to be done with their missions. Found something useful. I'm about the diplomat you've inside me to investigate. So Otto von Lersner here. He is uh, ignorant. We'll believe your propositions are advantageous if you prevent, present them in their best possible light. So we can get him to like us by talking to him. And uh, by just saying how great they are. You have gathered information on their scientists. There's two. One in astrophysics, which we like. You have uh, found a Russian scientist, which is nice, and you've reconned the area. All right. Finally, we've located a scientist. Indeed, we have. Now we can try and do things with them. We can try and bribe them. We can ask them to find out more about the scientist. This might be, yeah. Uh, we could just kidnap them, but yeah, that's not great. We want you to work for us. How can I actually learn more about you? Doesn't say. Well, maybe we can talk to you about cybersecurity and uh, your home country. I don't. I don't really know. We'll give this a shot. Meanwhile, you're here. Why don't you continue? Yeah, we can't do anything with that. Continue trying to learn more about about this guy here. And I think what we're also going to do is get in contact. March 25th, we'll have a meeting. We know you're ignorant. and Maybe we can get something uh, in return for that. We've also learned um, no? Oh no, it's this bug again. Oh no, it's not. You want me to click on him. Sorry, it's the tutorial. It's the, it's the tutorial. So, right. She has found out that there are scientists here. Japan is in the lead. So we can have her try and ferret out who these individuals are. So, yeah, your job is going to be to try and identify them. Meanwhile, you, my friend. Oh, yeah. We are going to go in bed with some bad people by doing this. We're going to try and install some ransomware. Two days. And we're going to see what we can do about that. I'm interested. You know, one thought I had is like just having two hackers and just like go nuts with the hacking. Maybe. You're going to try and convert. You're investigating. I think we can go ahead and end the turn. Um, but before we do, actually, apparently I forgot to set a timer. And this episode has probably gone on longer than normal. So we are going to end it here. We're in the very, very early stages of the game. I still feel like I'm mostly flailing about in the dark <laughs> when it comes to this game, but I gotta say, I love the feel of it. I'm excited to learn more about what works. I, I wish uh, I need to learn different strategies as well, um, which, you know, will come in time. I actually didn't find a lot of online resources. Uh, there's not a lot of guides or anything for this game. So uh, hopefully maybe you guys can learn something from my mistakes. If you guys like what you see here, I'm always appreciative of the subscriptions. Likes also let me know that you're enjoying watching this game, you're enjoying watching me play it. Definitely uh, factors in and uh, of course anything that you might have to add, tips, ideas, thoughts about whatever you may be thinking, please let me know. And if you really don't like what's going on, drop the dislike as well, you know. it's. Uh, it's all part of it, right? It's, it's all part of the YouTube experience. Let your voice be heard. And until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.